Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and thank you for coming back for another motion, motivational cleaning video. Today I'm doing a whole house clean with me. I'm starting in the kitchen, making my way to the living room, dining room, my bedroom, and bathroom. There is also some homemaking as well, so you will also see me cook dinner. You will see me also wipe down surfaces, hand washing dishes, making my bed, and there's also vacuuming in every room. I hope you enjoyed today's whole house clean with me. And for anybody new here, I do share this channel with my twin sister, Courtney. So you get two different houses on one channel. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified every single time we upload a brand new video. Now, as you guys can see, I actually started off in my kitchen as usual. Um, I'm just trying to get everything all tidied up back in order, wipe everything down and get it all nice and clean. And that way I can get dinner started. This is a two day type of clean with me. Um, and today's in the first day, I'm just strictly doing my kitchen. I do have to tell you guys, it was a long day for me. Um, for this video, I was just in one of those moves where nothing was working out. I was very agitated and I just needed to get everything done quickly and fast. You know, sometimes we just have those days. Um, so I do hope you guys do get some type of motivational cleaning or some type of entertainment or just enjoy the music or whichever may, it may whichever way it may be for you. <laughs> so I'm kind of done chit chatting for now. I'll be popping in and out here and there. Let's get this kitchen all cleaned up so that way we can start dinner. When I need it, ain't no waiting. Ain't no if is or maybes. You gon' always be my favorite. Just thought I'd let you know, just thought I'd let you know Sometimes I act crazy But I love how you got patience Me and you, we just make sense Just thought I'd let you know, just thought I'd let you know Just thought I'd let you know, just thought I'd Girl, I love how we finish each other's sins No lie, we had it attached me from the beginning The way my land was up It was hard to build that trust It don't take much to know that you something special Just like a drug, I can't break the habit yeah. I don't tell you all the time But you're always on my mind Sometimes I act crazy But I love how you got patience Me and you, we just make sense Just thought I'd let you know 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 Surprise me that you're still around Can't imagine what I put you through Cause I would've been fed up I guess you got a point to prove Just thought I'd let you know You do everything right and I should tell you more I just want you to know That you got it Me and you, we just make sense Just thought I'd let you know 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 While I'm cooking the ground beef, I figured I'd just like, fill you guys in a little bit more about how my day was. So it started off with my oldest having a doctor's appointments, two doctor's appointments, and they were both at one was in the morning and one was in the even, in the afternoon. So I had him miss school because it just wouldn't have made sense because of we had to go uh, really far in both directions, opposite ends of each other. 
So what I ended up accidentally doing was mixing up which appointment was for which time and he basically got the whole day off, which I didn't mind that. It's whatever. Sometimes kids need that anyways, but it was the fact that I messed it all up. These were one of the one of these appointments was already like a reschedule because the doctor being out and everything like that. Then we ended up going to the other one and that doctor actually was was going to be calling out that day, so it was just everything had to get rescheduled, so it was just how my day got started was just not on a good note. And then what else? Later on, the baby was just, well, he's not a baby. He's three, but I just call him the baby because he is technically like the baby of the family in my household. So he was acting up and because he didn't um, have a nap and he was being a handful. But honestly, those second children, the second ones, they are a handful and they are off the wall crazy. It's like you want to pop their heads off, but you want to hug them at the same time and just give them all the kisses in the world. I mean, you like that regardless with kids, but the second ones, man, they know how to make you angry and happy all within seconds. I swear, that's how it runs in my family. Those second ones will drive you up the wall but you just can't help but laugh at the same time. Um, but yeah, so I'm just trying to make enchiladas. I realized I never even told you what I was making. So I am making those for dinner. And honestly, having the late lunch worked out in my favor for the simple fact the baby will not eat enchiladas. So he had some chicken nuggets and french fries. Um, my oldest also had some chicken nuggets and french fries. And he ended up eating dinner a little bit later on um, that night. So when he basically got hungry, um, we love the enchiladas in this house. We will eat those day in and day out. So it's one of the, uh, our favorites. But yeah, so I wanted to kind of fill you in on how that day went. I just needed to get the day over and done with and get to bed. Um, and I think I had to drop my oldest off at football too. So it was just one of those days that I was running around with my head chopped off, but not getting anything done because everything I went to go do either got changed or we missed. So <laughs> Yeah, um, let me know if you guys ever have one of those days and, you know, you're not alone. If you do, it happens, you move on and you just reschedule and do what you got to do. So right now I'm actually putting away the clean dishes. So the left side of the sink is the clean dishes. The right side is the dirty dishes. Um, and I actually clean out the clean side every single time to put in the to put in new dishes that I've just washed. So we will be getting into hand washing dishes just shortly. I'm not waste my time Jumping all the way in too deep I hope you're not missing these signs Cause I wanna keep you close to me Baby, can you give me just a little bit More of what I've been missing We got time to act this You don't know what you're doing You just as bad as you want me You already talking with your energy In the back of my mind fantasize about you and me Baby, can you give me just a little bit More of what I've been missing We got time to act this and You don't know what you're doing to me Let me know how you feel Making time for you
So now I'm just showing you that I have some Mexican shredded cheese. You can use any type of cheese that you really want. Um, I grabbed this one just because it just seemed like it fit with the theme. Um, mozzarella been, would have been fine. But so I showed you every seasoning that I use in the ground beef and in my rice. You don't have to use that many seasonings. I do. Um, I do use a lot of like garlic powder, onion powder, like any type of powder seasoning because there is no salt in those. So I do take advantage of the amount on those because you can't really overdo it unless, you know, flavoring wise, but you can't overdo it with salt. So now I'm just prepping to get ready to roll these um, enchiladas up and throw them in the oven and I just wanted to quickly chop up the ground beef a little bit more just so that way it fits um, in the wrap a lot better you can even bite and everything like that so what I do is I take out which I do show you I take out the um, wraps and then I put the ground beef a little bit of shredded and then like shredded uh, cheese and then like a little dollop of the sauce inside roll it up and throw it on the sheet pan or no glass glass pan I don't know exactly the right term for these so but I do add a little bit of that um, enchilada uh, sauce on the bottom of the pan which court taught taught me um, to do that because then it makes it that the wraps don't stick to the glass pan and to, to be honest with you guys, I might have a Puerto Rican husband. Courtney's actually the one that taught me how to make these enchiladas and to go for it one day. And I never, ever, ever had one. And one day I decided to make it because I really wanted something different for dinner because we do get in those, you know, ruts where it's the same thing all the time. So I decided to try it one day and we all fell in love with with these so I make them once in a while um once I remember about them I end up making them but here it is I'm just showing you the brand that I use um you can use any brand that you want just make sure it's enchilada sauce that's all um and I do want to try the um I think it's pork or chicken enchiladas which is a green sauce I believe Courtney's um had those and she said that's pretty good as well I just forget that you can have those. I just know that usually an enchilada is beef, so I never think of pork or chicken. So, But one day I'm going to try those, so I'll be hitting you up soon, Court, to uh, get the recipe on those bad boys as well. All right, so here I am. I'm showing you how I will be prepping it and throwing them in the glass pan. So I'm just going to throw some music on, and you guys just watch closely. <laughs>
it's so funny the the wraps that I got were the low carb wheat ones and I think it's like a 10 or an 8 count no 8 count and I ended up actually having 9 so I got an extra one I felt pretty lucky that day I felt special so I actually ended up having more ground beef left and um some wraps left over in the fridge so they're just your regular um you know flour tortillas well wraps or whatever you may call them so i just finished off the pan to um you know finish off the pan of ground beef and added it to this one lonely big guy over here so we actually ended up having way more enchiladas which means the more the merrier so yeah now I'm just trying to get everything all put away and get into washing these dishes. I'm just realizing that I guess I never, um, well, not realizing now, but when I was now as in washing the dishes at that time, I forgot to press record. So you got me halfway through washing these dishes. I am so sorry about that, guys, but at least I realized it during and not after. So you can still kind of get that um motivation to uh, hand wash dishes if you like me and you do not have a dishwasher so yeah and then we just finish off with wiping down the counters and showing you guys dinner and then we'll be hopping it in to the next day also let us know let Courtney and I know if you guys enjoy us showing you what we are cooking for dinner if we end up you know recording at that time frame of dinner um, Courtney honestly usually does if she, um, you know, is around that time frame to cook dinner, she typically shows you guys, but we don't really, um, we kind of don't really show you much of that type, um, of cooking, like in general on our channel. So if you guys do enjoy us showing you what we're making for dinner and cooking it and everything like that, um, please let us know down below in the comment section. Um, you can just simply say, yes, yeah, show us dinner or no, we don't really care for it. We're just here for the cleaning. Um, you won't hurt our feelings, I promise, guys. But I'm just getting into scrubbing out the sink and then finishing wiping down everything. Found myself smiling more The moment you leave, I feel down again I talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone I swear that I'm trying my best You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend I wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of hope So hold my hands out for a minute I'll let you know when to let go You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run Say a word even when it hurts Everywhere you go, everywhere you're smiling You make it look easy I don't understand How you can love me the way that I am You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you're running I found myself dreaming again Goes blank in my head Feels like my bed is on fire When I'm sleeping alone So hold my hands high for a minute I'll let you know when to let go You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run Say a word even when it hurts Everywhere you go, everywhere you're smiling You make it look easy I don't understand How you can love me The way that I am You give a little love the little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you're running
Okay, so we finally made it to the next day. I am just giving you a quick dirty overview of the living room and honestly, as you guys can tell, it's really not that bad. Just gonna throw some dishes in the sink, put baby toys away, shoes, um, slippers, the dog bed needs to get put back in the dining room area, um, the vacuum needs to desperately be, the vacuum needs to desperately, wow, the carpet needs to be desperately vacuumed with, you know, dog fur, dirt, um, crumbs and all that just everything just needs to get tidied up and wiped down I will also be um, using furniture polish to wipe down the couch to give it back its shine and life to it and um, vacuuming the hard floors wiping down the entertainment um, the entertainment stand and everything on it so it's dust and dog free so if you need some motivation to clean your living room I'm pretty sure I got that for you guys right here So I hope you guys are enjoying today's video, my little, you know, clean with my whole house clean with me. We still have the dining room left, my bedroom and my bathroom. So I hope you guys are still sticking around for all of that. If so, give it a thumbs up so I know you're still here or simply just write down something in the comment section to let me know, hey, I'm still hanging out. We're almost done with the living room. 
but I, I'm just going to quickly wipe, wipe, oh my goodness, vacuum off my carpet and the tile and then switch over behind you guys on this camera to my living room, my dining room. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am on a roll. So I am just going to vacuum this off, vacuum the tile, switch you guys around to the dining room and get that all picked up. And I can't wait to show you guys what my dining room table looks like for my setup for fall slash Halloween. Um, we did not do a decorate with me or anything like that this year. We have learned our years on YouTube that those are not like a big hit with you guys. You guys don't seem to be really be into it. So we just didn't want to stress ourselves out this year with trying to record and get everything all together to record a decorate um, with me video. Um, so we decided to do it when we wanted to do it on our free time when we had that time to decorate our house. So if you do enjoy that type of content and you guys want to see, um, you know, a Christmas one, we would love to know. So that way we do um, have the time to collect what we need to collect and um, record it and post it for you guys to see it. So if you do want to see a Christmas decorate with me, please let us know because if you don't let us know, guys, we will not do one. So please let us know. So yeah. Now I am almost done with the living room to finish it off. We're just getting the corner right here and then we move on. Just know that I'm okay I wish you the best life If that's the case Plus I needed time for myself anyway oh, oh. I'm done with chasing Done wasting energy you can't replace I'm over the pressure of doing things your way When you left that shit was hard But it gave me a fresh start Now that we departed myself at all Like I said, there wasn't really much to do in the dining room besides kind of tidy it up a little bit. Um, I'm just putting this box away, closing the curtain, and then we get into vacuuming this floor. So once I am done vacuuming in here, I do give you guys the clean overview. I show you my little um, fall decor that I have on my table, the plates, and the, you know, the, uh, what is it called? My goodness, the, the, the that the plates are sitting on the plate mats. There we go, place mats. Um, the cloth ones and the uh, 
oh my goodness you guys will see what i'm talking about the whole centerpiece like the the plates and everything are from the dollar tree from a couple years ago all the pumpkins on the table are from the dollar tree and then the signs i think are either i believe i got them from target really really cheap to under five bucks so i just wanted to let you guys know you guys can do things on a budget and check out your dollar tree because they have a lot of good decor there for the seasons <music> Tripping on yesterday, forgetting all of my mistakes. And now I'm on my own, yeah. Travel down the road, I walk alone, yeah. I ain't tripping on yesterday, forgetting all of my mistakes. And now I'm on my own, yeah. Travel down the road, I walk alone, yeah. I don't wanna keep on second guessing. Guessing is useless Keep on second guessing Cause guessing is useless I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually put my sweaters back up nice and neatly in the closet. At this point in my life, I would have just threw it in the closet neatly in a pile and just let it all stack up. But I was like, nope, I am sticking to my guns on this one. I am going to put it away up top. And if I don't feel like putting it away, I'm not shoving it in the closet. I might as well leave it in a pile somewhere outside of the closet. So that way it forces me to put it away the proper way. Um, I hope that makes sense, but that is what works for me. It might not work for you, but that is the only way I get myself to not start the cycle again of stuffing my closet with my sweaters. So now I finally moved on to the floor area of in, in front of the dresser and my bed. Um, a lot of it's just dirty clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I noticed in this video, there's shoes everywhere. <laughs> Let me know if you guys noticed that too. There is just shoes everywhere. I don't know what was going on. We must have been running a marathon, I can tell you that. Um, I don't know what, why, but it, there was just shoes. But I feel like I'm moving along pretty well, um, pretty fast in my room, in the dining room and everything like that. I guess you could say the kitchen just took me the longest for some odd reason. But um, I don't want to talk too soon because I still have to do the bathroom. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. 
Um, I do end up vacuuming in here too. Um, I was also doing laundry off of camera. So I don't know why, but I never tend to show myself doing laundry. Um, I think it's just because my laundry area is in my basement and it's dark and creepy down there. Um, so I just don't bring you guys down there. Now, if I had a setup like court, and that's why you guys get lucky with having two two people, two different houses on one channel. So you got the Courtney with the nice laundry room and everything like that. Me hand washing dishes. So you get the best of both worlds here. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. But like I was saying, I do do my laundry. I just don't do it on camera. Same thing like with washing my sheets and the baby sheets and the oldest, my oldest son's sheets. We do wash those. I might have the same comforter on, but it gets washed. And it's just because I like that comforter. And it just goes with everything in my room. So I've been favoring that one. Um, I do want to get another set though. I just don't know what I want to get. I'm st I just I'm stuck between getting a down comforter, doing getting a duvet. Or I think that's what it's called with the cover sheet over it, or getting just another comforter set. Um, I definitely want to look into getting a weighted blanket or comforter. Um, we've been wanting that. Cisco and I have been wanting that for a very long time. It just slips our mind and we never end up remembering. But I don't know. I'm stuck between either getting just, you know, another comforter set or switching the whole game up and getting a down comforter, getting like a duvet and everything like that. So I still want to do some research on the whole duvet, duvet thing because I don't know how much is it for those types of sheets and um, the pillowcases and stuff like that. Like how much is it to get the set for it? Um, if it's cheaper or more expensive, like, like I said, I just need to do a little bit more research. If you guys know more about it, please let me know down below. I will greatly appreciate that. And I'm realizing the holiday season is coming up guys. Like, well, yes, we have Halloween, but I mean like we got Thanksgiving, we got Christmas I'm talking like we're spending money. <laughs> so I need to know which one is my best deal for my more bang for my buck and last longer. Um, sorry for that little rant. I just remembered it and I just needed to get it off my chest because it's just been on my noggin. So I wanted to let you guys know and now you guys can stress about it just like I am. <laughs> and one more thing, if you haven't noticed yet, we we tend to have um, ADD, which we you know we've had it since we were young. So that's why sometimes our voice, our voice, my goodness, our voiceovers can be all over the place, meaning what we're saying, because so much is popping in our brain that we're trying to get out that our brain and our mouth are trying to keep up with each other. So I am so sorry, guys, if it seems like sometimes we're starting a sentence and not finishing it or whatever the case may be, if we're all over the place, I we're sorry. It's just how our brain works sometimes. Okay. Okay? And honestly, sometimes when that camera gets turned on or we're doing voiceovers, your brain, any normal person or not, your brain just goes all over the place. So add ADD to that. It's so comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. So wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel So lucky I met you And I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight Swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel um, so lucky I met you It's not bad to call The way I feel when you walk in the room mm -hmm. When you walk in the room It's not optional How gravity just pulls me right to you Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight Swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel um, 
so lucky I met you I spent my whole life waiting For someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you I met you and I still Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight Swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel so lucky I met you here we are we are in the bathroom which means this is the last room of today's video this bathroom, I am not going to be scrubbing too much in here because I had plans to actually put this shelf together right here that you guys see. I paid an arm and a leg, $32.99 for this shelf, guys. I got this at Big Lots, and I was actually shocked about the price, um, but honestly, prices of everything has gone up. Now, I do want to let you guys know that I did try to put it together, and it just wasn't working out. So I'm going to have to have Cisco do it for me because there was there was this thing where like I couldn't get it all the way to fit in my shower like it was just too tall. So I'm assuming I just didn't, you know, shimmy something right for the height to fit in my shower. So I wanted to quickly let you guys know that you'll be seeing me try to put it together later on in the video and it just doesn't work out. So I just um, went in and wiped down the mirror and now I am wiping down the sink. I forgot to tell you guys what I have in this spray bottle for anybody new here is just pine sole and water. Um, I just use regular regular glass cleaner on the mirror too. So I figured I'd let you know before we move on to the next thing to do. I love you more, I love you more, hate you but I love you more. 
So I actually just had gotten back from the appointment. I didn't get to finish the rest of the bathroom beforehand because I was trying to put that thing together. Trust me, it was a long time trying to put that together. But I, I left everything the way it was and I returned back to recording so that way I can finish the bathroom up for myself and for you guys to get that motivation. So I just put the, sh uh, the bottles back in the shower neatly, like organized. I will be putting the um, plunger back in there. That plunger is strictly just for the shower. For anybody new here, I do not own this house. It's a rental. The piping in this house um, is not that well. I guess the plumber said that it a lot of the piping's at 90 degree angles, angle, which it's hard for the water to kind of go down in a nice flow. It's kind of just hitting a wall and then going, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that plunger is not used for the toilet. I do have one separately for the toilet and for the shower. Um, once I am all done here, I will be getting into sweeping up the floor and then giving you guys the after effect of the bathroom all tidied up and that will wrap it up for today's video so i do want to say thank you for, so much for joining me today and my rambles and my rants um i do hope you guys understand um you know life sometimes isn't as easy going as we w wish it would be or we want it to be um this is real life for you guys and that's what we are here on this channel is real life we do not clean clean houses messy houses is what the way it goes um uh i feel like that would be like a waste of my time to be honest with you guys but yeah so i do hope you enjoyed today's content if so give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet share it out to family and friends that might need this type of motivation um or just share it out if you're just feeling a little bit generous and I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for Courtney's video on Saturday. Um, she uploads at 9 o'clock. And I also upload on Thursdays at 9 o'clock as well. So we give you that nice motivation in the morning time. So that way you can watch it throughout the day or whatever the case may be for you. But I am done chit-chatting now. I will be playing some music and we will finish off this video. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Yeah, we did all that we could Some soul, some meant to be together forever Cause no matter how hard we try We'll just live inside of a lie Some days are bad while others are better But nothing can save us now The clock's ticking, the time right now that go to questions, hold on to the lessons we'll take away from this But give me just one last kiss And let me make one more wish I wish that I could show you A heart made of love A heart made of promises I don't wanna give us up But I wish that I could show you A way out of the woods I wish we had the answers But we did all that we could Your stuff, label every box while waiting for your father Then we make a joke about How we're gonna live without each other